How y'all doing? It's Papa again. Welcome to episode three. Okay, so we have we plowed up the ground, we've tilled it, we've put up the post, we put up the wire. And I was telling you about how expensive that PVC pipe was and how I like to do it cheap. Check out what I got. Check it out, huh? Phew. Gilligan's Island would be proud of me. There's a place near where I live. A feller can get a few of these. I know the man that owns the property, or the company that owns the property. And I have I come across these by accident a few years ago. And the only person I have told about this spot, my old buddy David. So he is, he's prepped. Now, I have tried several ways to cut the little limbs off these canes. And every time I did it, like using a, a knife or whatever, I'd end up getting myself poked or whatever, you know, poked, cut, scratched. Well, I'm going to try something different today. Maybe we'll both learn something. I'm going to take a little four and a half inch grinder. And I'm going to see if I can't just cut them little old limbs off with this. Then. We've got us a we've got us a tomato stick, a trellis stick, whatever you want to call it. And this thing's good 12 foot long. So so far getting a lot done without the cost of anything. The wire, I already had that. The fence post I bought for 75 cents a piece about six years ago. And I've used them several times. The wire ties, the 11-inch uh, wire ties that I'll use to tie this cane together with, uh, the 11-inch wire ties cost a dollar eighty-nine for a hundred of them, so that's two cents each. And I've got some four-inch wire ties that was a dollar for a hundred. And I'll use them like on the wire and other places just to tie the little plants to it. Four inch be enough for that. So let me let me get on with it and we'll be right back. There's a big storm coming through. I'll see you. I'll be back after a while. Well, I'm back for a minute or two. I, uh, I said to myself, I said, Self, that sure is taking a long time to use that little old cutting wheel to cut them pieces off. And a million pygmies in Africa can't be wrong. Surely I can just take a knife and, you know. Hey. That uh, bamboo is kind of tough. See what it done to my dead gum out there? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have to get a hatchet or a machete or what. I'll be back. Well, can't find my hatchet. I don't know where I've got a machete hiding, but I got a lawnmower blade. Let's see how it works. Oh, oh, oh. 
Well, these green ones cut a lot better than them dry ones. <laughs> Worry about cutting my hand off. <sighs> I believe I found the miracle tool. A lawnmower blade. That one's green. Let's see how it works on a, a cured one. What we learned from this boys and girls, we learned that technology is not always the answer. Like I said, a million pygmies with their machetes can't be wrong. was in if we were in uh, Australia I go oh, I gotta tell y'all what now. A dead gum lawnmower blade works great as a heavy duty machete. I'm gonna work with this a little bit, see if I can't put me a handle on it and have me a sure enough chopping chopping tool. What I want to show you here. That's some dead gum. Nice uh, bamboo there, boy. Who needs PVC pipe when you got something like that, huh? Alright, well, I'll use these here directly. Wind's coming. Hell, I don't even know if you can hear me. <laughs> 